The Bibb County Sheriff's Office reports most businesses are complying with the local state of emergency order. 41 NBC's Tanya Motorzitski has more on how deputies and their enforcement protocols are working. Since making Bibb Mayor Robert Ricker declared a local state of emergency earlier this month, it included restaurants to close their dining rooms and bars to temporary close. Captain Brad Wolf with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office says there's only been one incident with the restaurant not complying. We're not, we're not going around checking every business. For, if we get a call from a fire citizen or somebody in the public, then we'll go take that. Wolf says deputies are looking for voluntary compliance. The first contact we have with a, with a restaurant owner would be a warning. We, like I say, we go out there and talk to them, make sure that they had a copy of the order. Make sure they understood the order, and we would go from there, ask them to voluntarily comply. If they don't, then of course we may have to take it to another level. But the same goes for house parties. Wolf says he knows there's not enough deputies to enforce the ordinance, but are doing their best to keep everyone safe. We can't be everywhere all the time like we'd like to be. We, we just don't have the people to do it because it's just another element they have to face and think about every day. In Macon, Tanya Motorzitski, 41, NBC News. Now, Representative Rick Williams out of Baldwin County is a funeral home director, and he asked Governor Kemp for tougher punishments on funeral homes not complying with the ordinance. Williams recommends a higher fine and suspending licenses of funeral home directors.